Hello everyone, Eclipse here, and in today's video I'm making a master's guide on power sliding. So, power sliding is a very, very important part of this game, and it helps you a lot with speed. So I figured I'd make a video telling you some major pointers and things that you guys should really know, just to help you guys get a little bit quicker and quicker to the ball, because in the higher ranks, that really makes a huge difference, those point whatever seconds that power sliding will save you. So the first thing is turning. Uh, turning is a pretty big thing, obviously, you do it all the time in the game, and there is kind of a proper way to do like a 90, 180 degree turn when you're doing it. And uh, I'm going to try to put a nice little clip up on the screen of when the button's being pressed so you guys can t try to time it yourselves. You go to free play, you go around the boost to do 90 degree turns, you just keep on turning around the corners. You want to hold it for 40% of your turn, roughly 30 to 40%. And the same thing for 180 degree turns, you're again holding power slide for 30 to 40% of that turn and then you want to let go to get the, turn the most speed out of your turn. Again we have it up on the video so you guys can try to match your power slide up to the power slide that you see on the screen and just another little pointer if you guys are on controller which most of you probably are not unlike me um, you want to wait to power slide until your turn is fully held in so basically when your joystick is pushed fully to the left when you're making a left turn that's when you want to press your power slide not before that because it again the slight difference will make you have slightly slower turn so moving on from there, um, turning, there isn't really much to say besides from that, but um, supersonic power sliding. So this is something that most of you guys will probably know, but if you don't, it's something that you really should know. And that's basically uh, when you're going supersonic, if you hold power side and go forward, uh, you'll keep supersonic, you'll keep your trail, and you'll keep that speed without having to use boost. And um, if you can't figure out why, that helps a lot. It just helps you save boost because... You're not using it to keep your full momentum, and it helps when you're going into a wave dash. You can hold power slide, and you can keep your momentum then, and go supersonic without using any boost. And then when you have to go up in the air, you'll have 100% boost to use because you didn't have to keep using any to keep yourself at supersonic. So that's pretty important. Just try to keep that down. To, you know, try it a couple times in free play. It's really, really simple. You'll figure that out. Your car kind of like rolls off to the side a little bit, but it isn't too hard to get it down perfectly so you can hold uh, power slide and go supersonic. Um, and then another big thing is this is a little bit more of an advanced play and it's if you're going off the roof is to hold power slide when you're going off the roof because if you're jumping off the wall to hit the roof um, like a higher ranked player would, uh, when you're hitting the roof once you jump, if your wheels are slightly off and you're not holding power slide, they can basically jerk your car to the ceiling and you'll get stuck and that'll happen in any point if you're jumping up to the roof. So holding power slide just when you hit the roof will make you first of all come off the roof quicker and second of all not stick weirdly to the roof or do any like weird jerking or something your wheels getting stuck somehow because there could be a lot of weird things happening in Rocket League and this is just one of the ways for something to not happen and for you to come off the roof smoother so you could be hitting those nutty shots more often. Um, and then I kind of touched on it before when we said the power sliding, uh, not power sliding, the supersonic and holding power slide. Uh, but this is when you wave dash. Uh, if you're holding power slide when you wave dash and you hit that supersonic, again, you will keep that momentum so you won't have to use any boost. And if you can get a couple wave dashes, obviously, if you guys have watched Squishy, he does it all the time. I like to do it. It's pretty helpful to get around the field. But if you get a couple wave dashes in, you get up to supersonic and then you'll be going full speed down the field without using any boosts and it's a great way to recover and just be quicker in general so just little things to work on that last little you know um, kind of wave dashing one is a little bit more advanced so if you're lower rank uh, you might not need to try it so much yet but it's something to just keep in the mind in case you know it happens in a game accidentally or something like that um, and then next we're going to be talking about recoveries and Basically, this should be well known to pretty much everyone, but I'm going to say it anyway. It was when you're landing, if you're going to be landing sideways or in any weird direction that isn't straight, holding power slide, it should save you pretty much from anything. I mean, it's going to make it so you just don't stick to the ground and awkwardly get stuck there. If you hold power slide, your car will be able to slide and then... Um, another thing that you should really try to work on just to do it in free play, you'll just jump your car up sideways and then have it land sideways and then flip yourself out of that sideways. So basically you're going to be doing kind of like, um, like a half flip going, you know, backwards. 
but you're trying to do it sideways just as a recovery method just because when you get bumped a lot you'll be hit sideways or just sometimes when you land you don't land so clearly it's just something that's you know nice to practice and you keep your momentum so then you could do that sort of half flip sideways to keep the momentum and then most likely you'll have supersonic so you'd be able to hold power slide from there and keep your supersonic to drop all the way and it's a much 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 quicker recovery than if you weren't holding power slide in the beginning and your car just kind of like gets jerked weirdly and stuck there and then Another one, this is a really, really important one that I feel like a lot of people don't actually know, and I use it all the time, but it's basically when you're bumping, when you're getting bumped, to use power slide as well. When you're getting bumped and you use power slide, your car will basically be a lot heavier on the ground, I feel, and also, again, land nicer on the ground once you do get bumped. So there's a lot of good ways that you can recover from bumping. I mean, wave dashing is a great one to recover from a bump as well if you can get good enough at wave dashing to get a nice little wave dash in and power slide your way around uh, afterwards. But that's a, that's a pretty big one. Um, basically, it can mean that if your car is getting hit by someone and you hold that little power slide, that it could mess up their day a little bit more. And especially if you can power slide yourself so the front of your car is more angled towards the front of their car that means when they're going to hit you their car will be affected 10 times more than the previous if they hit you completely at the side where their car won't be affected at all so this is the slight things that you know again don't make a huge difference but that little bump on him might make it so he's not where he needs to be after getting the bump on you and it also will make people want to let bump you less because you're harder to bump obviously and it just is more inconvenient for them so that's the couple things that I have to say about power sliding. You know, some of you might know everything. Some of you might have just learned one thing. But I'm hoping that at least you guys learned one thing out of all that. Um, just some of the stuff that I've learned over the hours of me playing. And if you guys did like this video, uh, please leave a like. Let me know in the uh, comments because... Um, this is something a little different than I'd usually do and the last master's guides video didn't do the best So hopefully this one will do a little bit better and I hope you guys enjoyed this one So I've been epi eclipse and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace